Yo, what's up guys? I'm on IT, and uh, today we got a tutorial on lighting. So yeah, you guys have been asking for this for quite a while on a lot of my videos. People, you know, ask for a tutorial on the lighting. Um, there really isn't much to it. I basically use the same lighting setup in all of my intros with slight differences. Um, and it is kind of the slight differences that makes the lighting look good. Obviously, it's not gonna. I'm not gonna use the exact same lighting on every intro. Depends on what look I'm going for. It depends on the materials I'm using, and everything. So uh, I can't give you the perfect lighting setup that will work for every single intro. But I can, you know, I guess, tell you the process that I use, the basics of lighting and everything. So whatever. Let's go to Cinema 4D. Set up a little project. You know, center the view and everything. And I'm just going to add some text called lighting. Uh, it's just use a kind of cool font. Agency FB, one of my favorites. Also, guys, um, just a little heads up. I'm going to be holding a background contest at. 3K, which is coming up pretty soon. So make sure you enter it. That would be awesome if you guys enter. Hopefully, I got some good entries. But yeah, I don't want to make this video just to be talking about the background contest. But yeah, just to let you guys know it's coming up. Alright, so we got some basic text. We'll deal with the materials in a second. But I'm just going to add a camera real quick and just position it, you know, so it's. So we're going to keep this nice straight on view. So for render settings, I'm just going to do this real quick. I'm going to load one of my presets and I call it intro. So um, I use 1920 by 1080 for the resolution. Talked about it before, but that's what I've been using recently and makes intros come out a lot sharper. I would recommend doing it if you can do with the render time. I got aim inclusion, globe illumination. You guys can just throw that on. Um, it's what I use for every single one of my intros and without ambient occlusion or global illumination or even with just global illumination or with just ambient occlusion if you're missing any of these two effects um, that's what's definitely going to be changing your lighting lighting and making it not look uh, that good so you definitely need both of those effects I don't care what you say I mean if you want you can just put the settings on this a lot lower for example decrease to accuracy that will make it take quicker to render decrease to maximum samples minimum samples um, if you don't if you can't deal with render setting render time alright anyway let's just get into lighting I've just been talking about nothing for the past few minutes um, so instead of using a light to light my stuff we're gonna be using a plane and that's what I've used on all of my intros, and that what's, that's what works for me. So I'm going to extend the width of this, so, or just type in a thousand for the width, and a thousand, sorry about that, one thousand for the height also. And we're just going to move this up, and this is basically just lighting the top of our uh, text which is pretty important because um, this will create you know the nice highlights going above the text and we might want to make the width a little bit better uh, and if for example your text flies in you want to make sure um, that the height extends basically if you look in this view if that it extends everywhere that, where the text is going to be visible because if not, it's not going to be lighted in those areas, if you know what I mean. So yeah, just make sure the plane's big enough. Alright? And we're just going to label this as top light. I don't usually do this on my intros. I'm not a very organized person, but it is a good idea to do just to label your stuff. Um, and now we're going to make a material for it. So double click to make a new material right there. We're going to double click again to edit it. And we're just going to check off luminance. And I like to start out with, I don't know, 150. 
and we don't want to actually see this light obviously so to get rid of it so it still lights up our text but we don't actually see the like the light source we're just gonna right click cinema 40 tags and we're gonna uncheck scene by camera oh, I forgot never mind right click cinema 40 tags compositing right there and then go into the tag and uncheck scene by camera now if I render this we got some decent looking lighting you know you got the highlights at the top now if we want we can duplicate this layer by holding by holding control and dragging and if we call this one bottom light as you might guess I'm gonna move this one to the bottom and this will just give some highlights on the bottom edge of the text so I'm going to control drag on that material or if you want you can just make a new material and we're just going to set the brightness on this one of the luminance to 80 so it's not going to be as um, strong of a light because the highlights at the top are I think kind of like more important than the highlights on the bottom um, let's actually make this a little bit more maybe 120 Alright, let's just try 100. And let's put this, let's just keep it as it is. So, as I said at the beginning of this video, it's a lot about just experimenting with the settings until it looks good. Uh, that's a lot of what it is. So, if it looks like crap, don't just stop. You have to just keep moving around the lights, changing the brightness until you're satisfied with the result. Sometimes I'll add a light in the front, and by light I just mean a plane with a material on it with luminance on it. But as you can see, this looks like it's lighted enough. And sorry if I'm in this corner view too much, it's just my computer is pretty big, so the full view looks really big to me, but I know on YouTube it's not that big, so I'll keep it like this. Now, another thing that has to do with lighting is materials, because, uh, it's going to change how your whole intro looks and how the materials like react to the lighting. So we can make a new material. We're just going to check off reflection and put this at like 25%. And now if we take that material and drag it to the text object and for the selection if we just hit R1 which as you might know will make it so this material is only applied to the fillet cap or the edge of the text and if we render this you can see now we have kind of a nice glossy edge and it picks up you know more of the light so yeah guys that's my basic tutorial on lighting like the video and in the future I might do a tutorial on materials that kind of goes along with the tutorial on lighting but yeah guys that's the tutorial I hope you found this helpful I know it was quick and uh, kinda not too in-depth but I might do a more advanced one later so thanks for watching guys please like the video please comment I really like the comments um, they're nice ones so yeah guys Peace out.